Hi, I'm Christine McKay with Northridge Publishing, and we are here with Tasha Meyer, the editor of B Trends Magazine. And Tasha, we are, want to share with our viewers a sneak peek into February's issue. It's always fun to have the issue come out and bring these designs and look at the magazine and share some of our, our favorite designs that we've featured. Well, I am just loving all of the beautiful colors that you picked, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of a theme here. I'm seeing a lot of purples and lavenders. It's February, it's getting towards the end of winter, it's fun for the season of romance to have a little bit of pink or purple um, and start getting in the mood for that. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this one on the end because it is just, it is so delicate and intricate. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I love this design. Um, it was created by Michelle Scoble and it's a seed bead project and we've actually featured it on the cover. And I love it because it's something that even a beginner could create. You can well, sit down. Well, I was going to ask you that because I look at that and that looks hard. Yeah, this this design is not complicated. There are step-by-step -step instructions actually on the inside, including specific graphic images, so you can actually follow every step to recreate this. And I love the fact that she's. All you have to do is know how to make one. Yeah. She's made several, and then she's connected them together with her jump rings. And then she's, if you wanted, you could add any kind of chain, but she's actually made a chain mail chain that she's attached it to. But it's elegant, it's romantic, it's perfect. For and I like that it's, e that it's easy to yes, do. Yes, it's easy. So if it, you've ever wanted to get started on seed beading, it's a great project to pick up. Okay, so I'm going to save this one for last because I know you have a really, really cool story yeah, about it. That one's fun. So tell me a little bit about these earrings right here. Okay, these earrings right here are from our designer Highlight, and they're called Love and Garnet. And she is a great designer. She does a lot of the wire working and metal work, and I thought those earrings were really fun for Valentine's as well. All those little garnets, she's hand wrapped those that wire and, and connected it. I just thought they were really fun. I love the, the, the swirl design. I think mm -hmm. that that adds so much to it. You'll see a lot of that. It's really popular. Okay, so you know me. I'm always drawn to the kind of the more earthy pieces and I love the mixture of the, of the textiles with the, the fabric and the beads. Tell me a little bit about this one. Yeah, you and I both really seem to love yeah. like the earthy. That's kind of my thing. And I love mixed media projects. I love, they've got this silk ribbon that she's connected with these little ribbon ends. And really, it's a simple project. It's in our fashion favorite section, and it's easy to make, um, but it wouldn't take very long. I love the colors of these beads and the chain. All she's done is use little head pins and wrap them onto the chain and use a little bit of silk ribbon and the toggle clasp. So it's, it's a simple project, but it's, it's beautiful. I love that. All right, so tell me about this amazing piece right here, which I think the piece is beautiful, but I think the story behind it is even more meaningful. Yes, I love this. One of the, our regular designers that contributes, um, Shannon Schmid, um, she started what you'd call a round robin, and there's been round robins around forever, but she created a round robin with jewelry, and what she did is there are several women that became friends, you know, online through a beading blog or online site, and they created this round robin. There's groups of six that you start with. So she had two different groups, and she headed up one, and another designer headed up another, and they each created one six six inch section of this necklace. Then they took the section and a journal where they put information, information about themselves or their family or what they love or their style that they love, and then they'd mail that to the next person on that team. And then that person had about 30 days where they created an additional six inch section on that necklace. And so it traveled around to these six women. So this necklace right here is actually the final result of six women that worked together, but it was started by Shannon. And so- I love that. I think that is so amazing. And I, I love the idea of the pass along journal that goes with it, because as you and I often talk about, you know, because jewelry is, it's such a personal kind of item that we wear. I love when there's stories behind the beads or the little pieces, the little one of a kinds. Oh, it's amazing. And we have, we have in our jewel school, it talks all about how you could start your own round robin and, and have a similar experience. These women became really great friends. There was a group that was international, so there were designs that got sent all over the world, and there one was one that was more um, within the United States. But um, they became great long-term friends. And then we have a whole section in the issue as well called our round robin section, where you can actually see all of the designs that these women together created.
I love it. Tasha, thank you so much for stopping by. And don't forget that you can pick up the February issue. It's on newsstands now. And you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out a challenge. You know, I, I would love to see some of our viewers um, put together a round robin and submit um, your comments to Tasha. You can go to um, northridgepublishing.com and leave comments on our blog there. But I would, wouldn't you be, th that be fun to just see some of the different- oh, It is so much fun and it's, Great to see the creativity that these women have, and I loved how they could look at a specific style and match it and continue the necklace. However you start your, your style, it kind of continued that way, and they were all beautiful, so it's so much fun. Love it. So go ahead and leave your comments. We'd love to see your work, and like I said, go ahead and pick up the latest issue of Be Trends Magazine.